I've compiled my fave DIY projects for a deck refresh, including some new ones. Do you remember your first ever DIY project? I do. Back in 2011, these aluminum pillar candle sleeves were so much fun. I carefully selected each of my aluminum sheets and then I began cutting them to size. Then I carefully formed one around a Quaker Oats container and the other ones were formed around tin cans. In 2012, I featured them on my blog and fun fact, Shutterfly.com actually featured them twice with my DIY geometric print canvas art. I gave them a quick coat of paint and then a touch-up coat, battery-operated candles or not, these cylinders and the shadows they cast will definitely enhance your summer nights. There's something so satisfying about watching a can of spray paint transform something right before your eyes like this repainted punched metal side table. What's a recent spray paint project you've completed? Feel free to leave comments. Did it breathe life into a space? Did it introduce a new color to your color scheme? In my pre-kid days, I began exploring my love of succulents and my ability to care for them. I learned different types have different needs. I liken this to my days with kids now. Anyway, as my kids grow like weeds that you can't stop, and you can even see it in the course of this video montage, my littles have a continued interest in plants. I've become a bigger succulent enthusiast and a tropical plant hobbyist. Throughout their years, we have fostered their interest in plants on the deck, the porch, the patio, in our house, all over. Primed and painted, this succulent planter was ready to go again. And two years later, it's held up. Now back to the other projects. As for this trio of vases and the custom birdhouse my stepmom carved out of a gourd, I was curious how they would look with a coat of the same color. I found this freestanding table plaque in the clearance section at the at-home store. And I knew it had it potential as a companion piece with one of my fave home decor finds. My long-standing hand-carved Indonesian wooden medallion. After surviving five moves with me, this piece has found its resting place on my outdoor fireplace mantle. I wanted to give the white piece a makeover to display the two together, so I initially tested a two-tone effect with two different colors. Still, I was envisioning this as my little retreat to have a morning coffee and journal and meditate and read my Bible. You get the idea. Therefore, I was curious about incorporating a coffee-themed placemat I found. I thought the coffee bean color went well with the wood on the medallion, and they both have a very similar base. So it just seemed like a match made in a coffee shop. Just add coffee. Dollar Tree always has different placemats, and they have different thicknesses and materials. So this one is 100% vinyl. You'll also find some um, hard plastic ones. For this part of the spruce up, I simply turned it over and measured and marked my lines on the back of the placemat. Then I cut my shape. I grabbed a box cutter real quick, but you might have a craft knife handy. Then I cleaned the back with rubbing alcohol, and when that evaporated, I applied a copious amount of Gorilla Glue and affixed it to the wooden plaque. These trays were just what I needed to create a nice foundation for the pieces to lay flat on. But look at the fading after two or three days in the sun. That did not stop. And yet, I think the colors still work. Nothing fancy, but when it is up at eye level, it's something fun. Back with the glow in the dark spray paint. I'm over here spraying the outside of this frog that I got years ago. This garden frog was, a, I don't know, some shade of green initially. This year I spruced it up with that lime green again, went over it with the glow in the dark spray paint, popped those eyeballs back in there. Put in the eyes back. Yep. And then I added a solar light back into his belly. I pulled this out to show you how I refreshed a former solar light. So I took the top off, spray painted this to match the frog that I have here, and then just put it inside of one of these wee yogurt cups. And then it works really well. I think I'll actually just cut this end off so that it will sit flush in the jar. Open up, Mr. Frog. 
This is a project I was super excited to share with you. This is a long time coming, but I made these DIY curtain panels years ago. I prepared the curtain and the clips and we finally got them hung up two years ago. Come take a look with me.